here at Glen TV. We're at the Ontario Student Leadership Conference, and I'm standing next to one of the most popular speakers at this conference. If you talk to any of the kids around here, they'll all mention Blake Fly has one of the greatest presentations here. So I'm standing here with Blake Fly, and I want to thank you so much for joining me here on Glen TV. Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> How did you get into motivational speaking? I loved when speakers came to my school. I just loved it because. I'd be sitting there and I'd hear someone come and give a speech for an hour and I thought, that was amazing, what was that, where'd they come from? I was just overwhelmed because I didn't know what was going on. They weren't a teacher, they weren't a parent, they were this like person that just appeared and spoke and disappeared. And so I just went up to them after speeches and said, hey, that was cool, like have a good one. But then when I got into university, more speakers came and I went up to them and said, hey, thanks for coming. And then I also said, by the way, like, what is this? Like, is this your job? And <laughs> some were just volunteering, some they were there like for their company, and others were like, yeah, this is my job, this is what I do. And so I was working at a university in Ontario, at Western, in the residences. So I signed up to be the one who would hire the speakers nice. and like source them and look up their websites and everything because I just wanted to learn about it. So I'd have to make calls to speakers and say, hey, how's it going? What do you talk about? What do you cost? Are you available on this day? So I learned kind of the customer side. Got it. As a customer. And I just would pick up the speaker at the train station, have dinner with them, hang out with them. So I would just sort of, through osmosis and hanging out with them, learn about the business. And then afterwards, when I tried to pursue it, I was hoping that I could maybe like try some gigs and a few of my mentors who worked at the university said hey there's a session on campus go speak there go speak there all for free nice. but they said go speak and that really helped that's where you got a lot of your experience right yeah and then when i left western i didn't say hey i'm a speaker i said to some of my colleagues at other campuses hey guys i'm leaving my job in case you don't cross paths again thanks for everything and they naturally said, where are you going? Yeah. At which point I said, I'm, I, I'm starting the speaking thing, seeing how it goes. And so nice. then some of them hired me and that was the beginning. That's, that's very cool. All right, I got a deep question for you here. As a motivational youth speaker, what do you believe are some of the toughest challenges that you face today? And then how do you believe you can help address some of those issues? I feel like one of the toughest issues that youth have today is just letting their guard down. Okay. Just being vulnerable. And I feel like I can help in that front simply because I enjoy putting myself in vulnerable positions. Right. And I speak to that. And when I give presentations at schools, I do things that invite them to drop their guard. Sometimes it works a little bit, sometimes it works really well. And so that's what I would love to speak more to, is how can we sort of like crack the shells of ourselves and others through just being thoughtful to the people around us. Very good. All right, so you got the audience here at Glen TV watching you, watching this interview. What would you like to say? Any words of wisdom or any advice that you'd like to give to the audience? It's yours. What's up? It's Blake. Hello, Glen TV land. There's some chatter in the background just to add to the buzz. Oh my God. The one thing I'd love to share Sorry. with you is we that I think one of the coolest words on earth in all different languages is thank you because it's a great thing to share with other people who are important to you. And also, it's a great word to share with people that you may have not even met yet, but you would like to. If you want to get to know someone who's a little bit beyond you, just acknowledge them for something, saying that you appreciate the website that they made, or you appreciate the thing that they said in an interview one time on Glen TV, or that you appreciate the fact that they're the brother of your uncle's hairdresser and they're awesome. So thank you is one of the most powerful words to you, to others, to family, to friends. Say more of it. That's my thought. Consider it. Appreciation and gratitude. Some really wise words from Blake Fly over here. Blake, where can people find out more information about you? More info is just at my website, blakefly.com. It's probably somewhere around the internet here, blakefly.com, and that's that. Oh, also on the social media land, just at Blakefly is my name in most places. And it's F-L-Y, Blakefly, like the fly.
Yeah. All right. That's awesome. So I want to thank you so much for joining me here on Glenn TV. It is always a pleasure. We met last year here at the conference, and it's it's been a riot. Uh, Blake is a fellow guitar player, a musician, fabulous musician, and I love guitar players and musicians. So it's always been a great time hanging with him, jamming with him, and some of the kids. We had a riot last year doing that, and I'm hoping to do it again, hopefully tomorrow, here at the uh, the conference. So take care. Thanks for joining us here on Glenn TV, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.